हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर ऑन बेसिक प्रॉबलिटी इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन ऑन कंडीशनल प्रॉबलिटी विच वॉज आस्ट इन जी टी यू समर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन एग्जाम ऑफ ए एम ई सब्जेक्ट सो फर्स्ट वी आर आस्ट टू राइट डाउन डेफिनेशन ऑफ कंडीशनल प्रॉबलिटी एंड वी आर फेमिलियर विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कंडीशनल प्रॉबलिटी बट वी कैन राइट अगेन हियर ऑल्सो सो Uh, we know that conditional probability comes into the picture whenever we have two events and one event depends on another event so first we have to assume that uh, we have given that one event has occurred and another event depends on the occurrence of first event so occurrence of second event which is dependent on the first event is uh, having conditional probability so to write down the definition uh, we can write that suppose that event a has occurred first suppose that event say capital a has occurred first then the probability of another event then the probability of another event b the probability of another event b which depends on the occurrence of event a which depends on the occurrence of event a or probability of event b is affected by the probability of event a so that probability of event b is called conditional probability is called conditional probability of event b and it is denoted by the notation for conditional probability is we are interested in the probability of b but it depends on the probability of a so we will write in this way probability of b given that a has occurred and is given by this formula is given by probability of b given a equal to probability of a and b that is a intersection b divided by probability of a and uh, here we have assumed that event a has occurred first so its probability is always positive so because we are having probability of a in the denominator we must write this condition this is valid if probability of a is positive now using this definition we can answer this question it is given that a bag contains 19 tickets numbered from 1 to 19 and uh, two tickets are drawn successively successively means they are uh, drawing first ticket and uh, after that they are drawing second ticket but they are doing this experiment without replacement that is they are drawing one ticket out of 19 ticket in the first draw and they are not putting back this drawn ticket into the bag so after drawing one ticket from the bag there will be 18 tickets remained in the bag and out of those 18 tickets they are again drawing second ticket so this is the experiment without replacement without replacement means whatever we are drawing in the previous draw uh, we will not put that ticket back into the given bag or box 
and uh, we are asked to find the probability that both tickets will show even number so here they are drawing two tickets successively they are drawing first ticket so that first ticket can be from 1 to 19 there are 19 possibilities for first ticket so it can show an odd number or even number similarly there are 18 possibilities for drawing second ticket so there can be numbers from 1 to 18 on that ticket so there are different events for this experiment but we are asked to find the probability of those events that both tickets will show even number so first we have to uh, make sure here that there are for the first draw there are 19 possibilities if we select first ticket then that first ticket uh, selecting that first ticket can be done in 19 ways and out of those 19 numbers uh, we are interested in the even number tickets so we can count the even numbers between 1 to 9 2 4 6 then 8 then 10 12 14 16 and 18 so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so there are 9 even numbered tickets or 9 even tickets uh, now we are asked to find the probability that both tickets will show an even number so first uh, we have to define two events uh, we can define two events as let a denote the event that first uh, ticket will show an even number first ticket will show an even number and we can define event B as second ticket drawn will show an even number second ticket drawn second ticket will show an even number and we are performing both the events one by one and make sure that it is given that we are selecting without replacement so first we find out the number of outcomes in favor of event a to decide the probability of a uh, we have to consider the ratio of outcomes in favor of event a and divide it by total number of outcomes because there are 19 tickets in the box total number of outcomes for selecting one ticket will be 19 there are 19 possibilities for selecting one ticket out of those 19 tickets and uh, uh, the number of outcomes in favor of even number so we have counted that there are nine even number tickets so we can select one ticket out of nine tickets in nine ways the selected ticket can show number 2, 4, 6 up to 18. So there are 9 outcomes in favor of event A. So probability of A is 9 divided by 19. So now we can uh, find the probability of B. But whatever draw we are doing for first ticket that is without replacement. After selecting one ticket out of 19 tickets uh, we are not putting that drawn ticket in the bag again so after drawing one ticket there are 18 tickets remained in the bag and out of those 18 tickets we are selecting one ticket so probability of second event will depend on the probability of first event because this number is reduced total number of outcomes for this event B has reduced or we can say that the number of outcomes in sample space are changing 
for event A there are 19 outcomes total number of outcomes and because we are not putting this drawn ticket back into the bag there are 18 possibilities or outcomes total outcomes for event B are 18 that means occurrence of B is affected by occurrence of A therefore probability is conditional probability we have to decide this probability probability of B given A and for this event B given A there are total 18 possibilities and uh, uh, here also uh, we have to make sure that second event will show an even number so this there are 18 possibilities now because there are 9 even tickets and for event A uh, we are selecting one ticket which is showing an even number so here also number will reduce from 9 to 8 so outcomes of in favor of event B will be 8. There will be 8 outcomes or 8 event tickets for event B to occur and total number of outcomes for event B will be 18. So here we can write that probability of A is 9 by 19 and probability that B given A this is conditional probability is total number of outcomes are 18 and because we are interested in even number ticket here also we have 8 possibilities because we are doing this experiment without replacement now in the question we are asked to find the probability that both tickets will show an even number that means we have to decide this probability probability of A intersection B event A is the event that first event will show an even number B is the event that second ticket will show an even number therefore A intersection B is the event that both tickets will show an even number we have defined A and B in this way A is the event that first ticket will show an even number B is the event that second ticket will show an even number therefore probability that both tickets will show an even number this is going to be event A intersection B probability of A intersection B and using multiplication law of probability this we can write as probability of A times probability of B given A probability of A is 9 divided by 19 probability of B given A is 8 divided by 18 and uh, we can cancel out here we can cancel out 4 here and uh, here we have we can cancel out 2 here 4 into 2 8 9 into 2 18 9 will also cancel out and we have 4 divided by 19 as the required probability probability that both tickets will show an even number so this is nice application of conditional uh, multiplication law of probability and we are using conditional definition of conditional probability here probability of B is affected by probability of A because we are not putting first ticket back into the bag probability of A is 9 divided by 19 because uh, event A is that first ticket will be an even number so there are 9 even tickets total tickets are 19 and second event is probably uh, second ticket will show an even number so we are taking one ticket uh, from the bag and we are not putting it back so this number will reduce to 18 and uh, here also we are interested in even number ticket so this also will reduce to 8 and finally using this multiplication law for probability we are able to decide the probability that both tickets will show an even number and that turns out to be 4 by 19 so this is nice question it is uh, related to conditional probability and it is application of multiplication law of probability so i hope you like it thanks for watching